A, the diagram on the right shows position and direction of two boys, Faiz and, he, and Hien Hao, running on a straight path, each passing two fixed points, P and Q, so we have P and Q at the same time. Okay, Faiz stop instantaneously at point R. Okay, Faiz stop. Where is Faiz? So this one is Faiz, right? This one is Hien Hao. Okay, so Q... Okay, the velocity of R is at t second after passing through the fixed point P is given by. So, this one is V. This one V is equal to 6 plus 4 T minus 2 T squared. Y is and how running with a constant velocity of negative. This one is negative 5 meter per second. It's given that the distance PQ is 50 meter. Assume motion to the right is positive, alright? So, calculate the maximum velocity of Faiz in meter per second. Okay, so before that, here we have S, V, A, right? So, coming from left to right, it is differentiation, dS over dt, dV over dt, and this one, the other way around is integration. Integration. So, you must know when it mentioned maximum velocity, what you need to do. So, we see here, when you have a graph, when you have a graph of velocity here, this one is a graph of velocity. So, we know that this one differentiation is the gradient, right? So, A is basically the gradient of the graph. So, here coming up, A is larger than 0. Coming down, A is smaller than 0. And there is a peak point here where A is equal to 0. So, same like this. So, going down, A smaller than 0. Going up, A smaller, A larger than 0. And this peak point, the minimum point, A is equal to 0. So, here, we see here maximum velocity. So, we know that maximum velocity, A is equal to 0. So, you have to find what is your acceleration first. So, A, V is equal to 6 plus 4 T minus 2 t square so here to get acceleration you have to do differentiation so a is equal to dv over dt which is equal to uh, differentiate 6 you get 0 differentiate 4 t you get 4 differentiate negative 2 t square so to differentiate you take the power you bring forward and multiply with the constant so here you get negative 4 so t 2 minus 1 you get 4 t now you have your a Right? So, we wanted to know when A is equal to 0, what is the time? So, when A is equal to 0, 4 minus 4 T is equal to 0. 4 T is equal to 4. T is equal to 4 divided by 4, which is equal to 1. So, we know that when T is equal to 1, acceleration is 0 and the velocity is at the highest. But we want to know what is our maximum velocity. So, we just substitute when t is equal to 1, our velocity is equal to. So, here 6 plus 4 t, t is 1. You see here, I just substitute the formula. Minus 2, t is 1 square. So, here 6 plus 4 minus 2. 6 plus 4 is 10 minus 2 is 8. So, this one is 8. So, velocity is meter per second. So, this one, maximum velocity at 8 meter per second. B, sketch a velocity time graph for phi is from point P to point R. So, it's given that here what happened at point R. So, I think I... Okay. So, we see here. Um, where? Okay. Stop instantaneously at point R. So, we know that this phi is... So, here V is equal to 6 plus 4 T minus 2 T square. Stop at R. So, stop means V is equal to 0. So, we need to know what is the time. So, here. So, 6 plus 4 T minus 2 T square is equal to 0. So, we can make it smaller, right? 3 plus 2 T minus T square is equal to 0. So, I want to bring at the right side so that it will be easier for me to factorize. Or you can just use your calculator, this one. 2t minus 3 is equal to 0. So, you see here, this one is 3. So, actually 3 times 1 and it's negative, which, one, which means one of this number is negative. We see negative 2. So, how to, make, how to get positive, negative 2? This one must be negative. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. So, this one is t minus 3. 
plus 1 is equal to 0, t is equal to 3, t is equal to negative 1. But here we know that time cannot be negative, so t is equal to 3. So at r, this one, t is equal to 3. So just now sketch right, so we need to know what happened at time. So this one is t is equal to 3. So we know that at the starting point, t is equal to 0. So v is equal to 6 plus 4, 0 minus 2, 0 square. So here you get 6. And we know that we have a maximum velocity at t is equal to t is equal to 1, we know that just now when t is equal to 1, we get the maximum velocity of 8 meter per second, right? So, v is equal to 8. So, now, after that, we know that t is equal to 3, then v is equal to 0. So, we know this one is maximum point. So, after maximum point, obviously, it's going down. So, at t is equal to 3, v is equal to 0. So, here we can draw. So, this one is 2, 4, 6, 8. 2, 4, 6, 8, 0, 1, 2, 3. So we know that start at t is equal to 0, v is equal to 6 here. t is equal to 1, v is equal to 8. And then you see here, and then t is equal to 3, v is equal to 0 because this one is velocity time graph. So, so it's going to the maximum point and then from here going down up to here. So, this is the velocity time graph. So, this one, the velocity is in meter per second. And here time, it is in second. Okay, so this is the, so this is the velocity. Second, find the distance travelled by far east from point P to point R. So, we see here, to get S, you see here, when you have V, you want to get S, you need to do integration of v so s is equal to integration of v so s is equal to integration of v dt because in term of time so our v just now is this one 6 plus 4t minus 2t square right so dt don't forget so when we integrate 6 becomes 6t 4t we just put the constant and then t is actually t power of 1 we add 1 to the power t2 divided by 2 minus 2 t square you just add 1 you get t3 divided by 3 and then you plus c so here you get 60 plus 2 t square minus 2 over 3 t cube plus c so we see back the question so we see here the equation after passing point fixed point P. So, if this one is 0, so we know S is considered as 0. This one is reference point when T is equal to 0. So, if we substitute, you see here when S is equal to 0, 6 times 0 is 0, this one times 0 is 0, this one also 0 plus C. So, basically C is equal to 0. So, S is equal to 60 plus 2T square minus 2 over 3T cube. So we see here, we know that until r, r is t is equal to 3, right? So when t is equal to 3, s is equal to 6, 3 plus 2, 3 square minus 2 over 3. This one is 3 cube, right? Which is equal to this one, 18. 2 times 9 is 18 minus to this one, you can cut to get square. So 2 times 9 is 18. So 18 and 18. So you get 18 meter. So this one is displacement, right? This one is zero. So we know that going to the right, see, going to the right is positive. So we see here. So this one is 18. So find the distance travel from point P to point R, which is 18 meter. Feature, what C determine the distance is meter between Far East and Shanghao when Far East is at point R. So we see here at point R. So we can see that here when Far East is here, we know that S is equal to 
18 right because like from here to here is going 18 meter so and we know that for sun how itself you see here this one constant velocity of negative 5 meter per second so negative means it's going to the left so at t is equal to 3 so sun how move 3 times negative 5 which is negative 15 so now sun how at t is equal to 3 sun how is here where this one to this one is 15 so here the distance between far east and sun how when far east at point r so sun how is now here far east is now here so what is the distance here so the distance is equal to so 50 minus 18 which is the distance here minus 15 so here 50 minus 33 so here we get 17 so the distance in meter is 17 meter